In this lesson, we're going to look at another major data structure in Python, the dictionary. Dictionaries are used to store key value pairs called items, where you're going to retrieve a value by specifying a key. Dictionaries make great structures for searching for items because they index on the key and make it very quick to find a particular value as long as you know the associated key. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is load the interpreter. So we type Python here. We import OS so that we can clear the screen. Let me just remind you how we do that. Like so. And now we're ready. We'll work with the Beatles again. And this time we're going to build a dictionary that stores each member's name with the instrument that they played. So we have John playing guitar, Paul playing bass, George also playing guitar, and Ringo playing drums, like so. We can view our dictionary by typing in the dictionary name. And notice that the items displayed is not in the order that we entered them. And that's important to understand that a dictionary is not interested in order. We're interested in being able to search for a value based on a key. So the order that the items are in the dictionary doesn't matter as long as we can find a value based on its associated key. In fact, let's look how to do that right now. If we want to see what instrument John played, we can type Beatles John by putting John in the index, and it returns guitar. Let's do it one more time. Do Ringo this time. And drums. One associated function we can use that we use with lists is the len function to return how many items are in our dictionary and we see that there's four. Let's clear the screen again. One thing we can also do is look at both just the keys of a dictionary and just the value. And when we type beatles.keys, the function that gives us the keys, it gives us a internal name for that group. So what we need to do is, is we need to put it in a function like list so that it lists out for us the keys. And we can do the same thing with the associated values. So there are the values. If we want to see an ordered list of both the keys and the values, we can write a for loop that displays each name with the associated instrument, like this. So we're going to say for name and Beatles keys, and that's going to use an iterator to pull each name out of the list of keys. And then we're going to print the name. And then we'll say plays, and then Beatles sub name to pull out the associated value. And we see Ringo plays drums, Paul plays bass, John plays guitar, and George plays guitar. Another way to get a value out of the dictionary is to use the get method or the get function like so and just provide it with a key you don't have to use brackets you can use parentheses for this because it's a method or function call and it will return the value with that associated key if we want to change a key we can do that very simply by saying Beatles and then the name of the key in this case let's modify Paul and have it display all the instruments that he played. So this time we're going to create a list. So we'll say he plays bass. He also played guitar. And he also played keyboards. So now when we say print Beatles get Paul, there we get a list. And I notice I spelled keyboards wrong, but we're not going to fix that. It's no big deal. Another thing we can do is add a new item to the dictionary simply by creating a new index and providing a value. So now if we type Beatles, we see that we've added Pete for Pete Best. But we have two drummers and we know that Pete Best didn't last that long in the group, so we need to get rid of him. So we can do that by using the pop function. And now Pete is gone. So those are the basic operations of the dictionary. Dictionaries provide 
a way to create structured records in Python, much like you create a struct in C++ or some other language. And that wraps up our discussion of data structures. And now we're ready to move to our next lesson where we're going to begin talking about object-oriented programming in Python.